Ben, Sammy. Today is Wednesday, and you know what? It's bright and sunny in Los Angeles. Now before I get started, I would just like to point out that I think it's really funny and a little ironic that after Sammy said that this was not the Weather Channel, Ben, you and I have decided to basically make this the Weather Channel. Except we're like a really bad Weather Channel because we only ever report Tuesdays and Wednesdays. And we only ever report Los Angeles. And we only ever report it after the day has already passed. So we've made this effectively the world's worst Weather Channel. Congratulations! I'd like to leave a quick disclaimer before I start. I'm a 90s kid. And growing up, there was only ever one show that I got super excited for. I mean, I'd come running home from school just to watch this one show. It was like the greatest thing ever. I absolutely loved it. And there have been a lot of fan theories out about this show. And I don't really agree with any of them because I don't feel like they really paint the full picture of what's going on. But I guess... I mean, I just gotta say... It's all right, I'm by the bell. So growing up, I used to love watching Saved by the Bell, and there have been a lot of theories about Zach Morris and the Zach Morris timeout and the whole show basically just taking place inside his head as like an after-school daydream. But I really don't agree with that because I think there's something deeper to the story. And what I think is actually going on is Zack and Screech are aliens. For starters, have you ever noticed that Zack really only uses the timeout ability very, very, you know, sparingly. But when he does, there has only ever been one person immune to the timeout. Timeout. <laughs> Fortunately, I always have a backup plan. Hook up this tape to the sound system. Okay, Zach, but I'm not sure how it works. Just do it. Now let's take a quick look at Screech for a second. First off, I would just like to point out that Screech's favorite show of all time is Elf, a show about an alien who has to grow up in suburbia. Sound familiar? Also, if you really think about it, Zach Screech could just be on a mission from, you know, another planet. And essentially all they're doing is just trying to collect as much information. They're basically anthropologists. And that's part of the reason why Screech, who would have been the engineer, as he is a technical genius and has built a sentient robot, has no idea how to interact with other people because he's not really the anthropologist of the group. Zach, on the other hand, is. He's top dog in charge. And that's because he quickly figured out how us humans operate and he made sure to be able to operate within those same parameters. Still don't believe me yet? Well, how about in the one episode where Screech actually impersonates an alien? <laughs> Mr. Thompson, that's him. That's it. That's the alien. Amazing. Another life form. <laughs> And at that point, you see Screech reveal his real face, under which he reveals a fake face once again because he is an alien and that's how things work. 